In this video, I'm going to show you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to sign up for the Amazon affiliate program. So if you need a complete step-by-step -step guide, well, then this video is going to be perfect for you. So the first step, what I'm going to do is to just go into Google. So as you can see, I'm currently on Google right here, and then I'm going to search for Amazon affiliate program. So uh, search for Amazon affiliate program, because then you should be taken to this page right here. So as you can see, we get now to this page and this first result right here. Amazon Associate Central. This is the link that we're going to click on. So click on this link right here, and then it will take us to the official Amazon affiliate website, as you can see. And by the way, if you need to be able to change your language or change your country, it's very important that you actually do so because the country option in here is very important because, uh, for example, if you are in United Kingdom right now and you want to be able to sign up for the Amazon affiliate but you do so through United States it's probably not going to work just so you know so make sure that you select the correct country you can always select another language if you want to in here as well but that is not as, in, as important of course and as you can see there's three steps first is the sign up uh, part as you can see which we're going to talk about right now then the second you will be able to rec start recommending products on Amazon and if somebody actually buys from your link then you will be able to get commission as you can see and commission percentage of course also varies upon what kind of items that you sell just so you know and as you can see here are some frequently asked questions um, it's not really something I'm going to go into, but uh, you can scroll down and check this one if you want to, as you can see. Now what we're going to do is to scroll all the way up here and click on sign up. And perfect, as you can see, we get to this page right here. So if you already have an Amazon account, it's going to be very simple. You can just sign in straight to your Amazon account and you will be able to actually continue to this, uh, sign up process for the affiliate as well. But if you don't already have an Amazon account, don't worry, we can just click on create your Amazon account right here. Then we're going to write our uh, first and last name, as you can see, the email, the password, and then we will be able to create our Amazon account. So just give me a couple of seconds and I will be right back to you. And as you can see, what will happen then is that Amazon will actually send you a code to your email that you have linked if you have actually created a new Amazon account. So you need to go into your email and then retrieve the code, as you can see, which I'm going to do so right now. So just a second. Perfect. As you can see, now I can just click on create my Amazon account right here. And perfect. As you can see, we are now taken to this page right here. So the most important steps, I guess, comes now. So as you can see, the payee name. Enter the name exactly as, as it should appear on the check. If the check is to be mailed to an individual other than the payee, enter the name of the re recipient in address one below, as you can see. So, uh, for example, enter the name exactly as you can see they actually explained this a little bit like yeah some people get confused by this first step right here which i understand uh, so what you're going to do is to just either write your name as you can see uh, enter the name that is the risk okay yeah you can of course just enter your name right here which i'm going to do so i'm just going to write my name right here and what you're going to do right now is to just add your address. So this name is going to be the same name as the check, as you can see, because they explained to us right here, enter the name exactly as it should appear on the check. If the check is to be mailed to an individual other than the payee, enter the name of the recipient in address one below. What they mean basically is that if the check is going to be mailed to other person and not just to you, well, then you need to actually enter their name right here instead as you can see but yeah you're just going to enter your name in here it's just going to be much easier in my opinion and then your address as you can see so the address line number one is going to be your address where you live basically and address line number two number three is not uh, like something you need to actually think about in general but the most important is going to be the address line number one so the uh, second step is going to be for you to write your city where you live basically and the states and province. So for example, as you can see, this is the most important because I did choose my country at United States before, as you can see, but if that is not the correct country, you can always change it in here as well, just so you know. So for example, yeah, I'm just gonna keep United States, United States just for now. Take this, we can take this state right here, write the city in here, write the zip or postal code, as you can see. Then you're going to also write your phone number. And as you can see, who is the main contact for this account? The payee listed above. Someone else? Yeah. You can have someone else as well if you want to, but otherwise it's going to be you basically. 
And yeah, write your correct phone number, by the way, for, they will most likely double check that phone number, just so you know. And then after you're going to click on next. And basically, after you have done so, the next step is going to be website and mobile app list, which they're going to basically ask you for your website or for your uh, like different kind of apps, maybe if you have created or your social media accounts. So basically, you need to actually uh, get past this uh, step right here to be able to be accepted. This is one of the most important steps, probably, because they will actually ask for your details and how you will be able to promote the Amazon uh, like links basically. So if you have, for example, an Instagram account that is getting some traction, that is a good thing that you can actually have in there as well. Or if you have a website, for example, always a good to include that as well. And just explain to them as much as you can exactly how you will be able to promote Amazon uh, from your site. So explain to them or just write the links basically to everything make sure that nothing is incorrect because otherwise you might actually get rejected and if you get past that step which is great you will be able to create your profile as you can see and then after that you will be able to start using associate central which is basically their affiliate program so that is basically exactly how to sign up for the amazon affiliate program